Wexler, CIO and founder of Spruce Point Capital Management. Today, we have an exciting new report on our website, sprucepointcap.com. The company is Broadridge Financial Solutions, ticker BR. Now, this is an S&P 500 company with a 1% short interest, meaning everyone thinks it's great. And it's actually gone down less than the market, meaning it's outperformed the S&P, the financial index, and its clients are financial service uh, clients and the technology index, and it claims to be a fintech leader, which we can debunk. Now, we think this company is under long and short term pressures and disintermediation risks from things like blockchain and from a shrinking financial ecosystem. But what really excites us about this business? Well, 40% of its revenues are tied to what we think are low to no margin services, such as printing and distributing proxy statements and credit card statements. And then they have this global technology outsource business, which serves asset managers, it serves wealth, wealth advisors, and capital markets industry. But that's where we think the real problem is. Now look carefully, in 2018, they announced a partnership with UBS Wealth Americas. Since that time, UBS Wealth Advisors have actually declined by 11%. What are they doing? They're supposed to consolidate the back and front end system and introduce a new platform for these advisors. But guess what? They haven't booked a single dollar of revenue from this project. It was supposed to be a three-year project. Now they're claiming you know, they'll finally book revenue in 2023. But ask them, how much have you sunk into this project? They will not disclose this. But we can estimate it. Look carefully at the balance sheet. There's an account called Deferred Client Conversion and Startup Costs. We estimate they've sunk a billion to 1.2 plus billion dollars into this project. And we think it's non-economic and they need to stop capitalizing incremental costs. Now, if they were to start expensing these incremental costs, we believe they'd be in violation of a debt covenant. They have a total leverage ratio covenant of three and a half times debt to EBITDA. Also, buyer beware, we think there's a high likelihood they're under SEC investigation. We see fair value at 65 to 75% downside.